All right, hello everyone. It's day two of the alternate kits being revealed, and I'll be honest, everybody, I was not expecting much from the light catcher dually after seeing it at Sprinkler. After five years of seeing that this thing dies, like a lot, like more than every other weapon, we're gonna give it the sub that dies when you die? I mean, it could be helpful for getting a special, but so could a bomb, and that would have been something this weapon could use in fights. However, if it had a good enough special, it could get by on having Sprinkler. And by some miracle of the gods, after five years of terrible kits, they gave it a real special. It's got Zipcaster. And, uh, yeah. This will easily be the best weapon to have Zipcaster in the game right now. We have Luna, Carbon, and Octobrush, all of which are very short range and limited. We have Slosher Deco, which actually is pretty good with the Zipcaster, but just is a weapon we don't see too much ever since the 50 damage buff this became a very reliable zip weapon and we have stamper which is fine but it does have a bit of a mediocre kill time it can take advantage of some mid-range pressure which can make up for it to some extent but it's still kind of limited tetra on the other hand not only is not limited but it actually is enhanced now zipcaster players can't really zip to the floor at all and also when you zip to a wall you have to do like a little jump or you have to, like, zip to the wall and slide off, like, uh, like, you see how black there? So you do, like, this, and then you kind of move and you fight and stuff like that. If you zip to a wall, you can jump, but obviously that jump will still leave you in a bit of a vulnerable state. You know, you'll be kind of stuck in the air, and players have gotten very good at punishing that. And lately, especially with some double wall point comps and zones, Zipcaster's been very difficult. Tetra, on the other hand, can zip to a wall, change its height drastically, and then decide to instantly go to the floor because the dodge rolls roll three times and then zip away again. So every time it zips to a wall, not only do you have to be ready that it could jump, but if you're sitting there preparing for it to jump and it suddenly rolls on the floor and rolls towards you, you're now fighting the damn thing. So it's going to have a lot more mix-up options and... You can use it as a panic button if you get dived and just leave your recall there because if your recall is in a really aggressive position and people have to stand backward waiting for you, it's going to be tough. And when you recall, you have four dodge rolls and have a fighting chance anyway. So yeah, it's a very good Zipcaster weapon. That's kind of a thing with aggressive Zipcasters, like Stamper does that, where it has its landing and like QR Stampers would go to a corner and just Zipcaster as a panic option and leave the recall there because you want to pull attention anyway. The problem is Stamper, more often than not, is going to die when it lands without getting a kill. Because, it, you know, it has a dash slash, but it's still kind of limited. Whereas Tetra has four rolls, it's going to be a lot harder. So, that's pretty interesting. I think Light Tetra will be a good weapon, for sure. I think it's going to be used more than the vanilla kit. Maybe that will change later if they actually buff Reef Slider. I could see the bomb being more valuable in some situations, and it would be great if Tetra could play both kits. But until Reef Slider is made into a real special weapon, yeah, this will be the Tetra kit we see from now on. So, congrats, Tetra players. You finally have a mostly good kit. And can I just... Like... This chart doesn't include some of the weapons that we've seen throw a sub. For example, like, uh, we've seen a Swig throw a line marker. That's not counted here. Really? Nintendo? Like... Did we need this many? We didn't need this many. Yeah. Thanks to Kiver for that chart. Anyway. Brella. And yeah, this thing had Trizuka. I was right. And it has mine, which is also what I predicted it would get. By the way, this means that if every weapon that we've seen a sub open line for, which is all of them, is true, nothing in this update got a lethal bomb. The closest to a bomb would be the curling bomb on Octobrush, or on the new brush which I do not consider the same thing. It's much more of a movement tool in the utility sub than using like a bomb. So yeah, this might actually be the no, no bombs update, which yeah, that's a topic for the season review for sure. Uh, for now though, tent doesn't really care. Uh, in this case, mine is actually very good on tents. It's been very good on tents and I'm glad they brought it back instead of splash wall on it. So that's great. It's honestly a sub that's just very useful for traps you can set it up much more aggressively because you have the tent shield as well. So, you know, for most weapons with mine, you know, if you need to get in, you don't really have a way of using mine aggressively. Whereas with tent, you can like launch a shield, go shoot around, and you can even place a mine or two before you go back and then try to get your next shield and use that as kind of bait that'll damage people. And then you can keep pushing forward with it. 
On top of that, when you hold map control, not only do you have 10 shields to work about, worry about, but also two ink finds. So yeah, it's a sub that has great synergy with 10. 10 is very good with these deployable kind of subs like mine and beacon, and it's great to see it get both of them. It's for once a weapon that's actually going to get subs that have perfect synergy with a weapon twice in a row, which is great to see. The special, on the other hand, is Trizuka. And like with how the 10 shield fixes a lot of ink mines problems, it also fixes a lot of the consistency issues that Trizuka has, which is awesome. And the main issue with Trizuka is it's very difficult to get consistent value out of it because it's only three shots. Even if you have really good aim, it's going to be tricky to hit three consecutive Trizuka shots in a row on people in an actual match, you know? So what Tent allows you to do is because you have a shield, it gives you a few things. So I don't I don't have a 10 shield with the Zooka right now, so you guys are going to have to use your imagination. Let's just pretend like this paint is the 10 shield going in front of me, right? So I 10 shield. I go with the tent. Oh, someone's in front of my shield. Bye. Okay, now I'm up here with my shield in front of me. So let me just Zooka the charger as he cannot shoot back at me. Okay, now my ink tank is back immediately because I can use the whole special before the shield despawns. Now I have another 10 shield. Now I'm going to keep doing 10 things, by the way. This does not interrupt for me doing 10 things. So yeah, you can literally shield launch if you're about to run out of ink or if you need, like, if there's a stamp in front of your shield or whatever, pop the Zooka and shoot it all. And not only can you get off the whole Zooka in time to get your 10 shield back, but while you're doing it, you can swim forward, giving yourself easier shots while being protected because you have a shield. Yeah. It is way, way stronger of a combo than anyone is giving it credit for. It is ridiculous how strong this combination can be. Now, Tent, of course, needs to be a bit of a better weapon for us to fully take advantage of it. But honestly, like, this thing is one of the most perfect kits Tent could get. To the point where I think even in Tent's abysmal current state main weapon-wise, and even with a few of the bugs it has... I could honestly see this having a niche because I think the kit is that good that I think it might be worth it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, finally, a 100% just good kit with camo tent. It took a while this season, but we finally got one. Actually, you could argue the, the new brush has a pretty good kit as well, but I would say this one is a, definitely a step above that one. So we did it, guys. Finally, some good kit. Yeah, we'll see what we get in future, though. Um, good news today, though. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and, uh, bye.